Welcome back everybody. It's that Thanksgiving and Christmas time of year and you might have some leftover turkey in your refrigerator. Perhaps you're tired of the basic bread with mayonnaise and turkey. So today I want to show you how to make a delicious cranberry apple turkey grilled cheese. Let's give it a try. First things first, we're gonna make our sauce, our special sauce before we get started. So I have some whole cranberry sauce here. You know the kind that you get in the store, but if you set it right side up, it's actually upside down. So whole cranberry sauce, we're gonna open this up. This will be our cranberry portion of the recipe as promised. All right, I'll just make a little bit in there like shoo. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of apple butter. This is also gonna be our sweet part since the cranberry sauce is fairly tart. This apple butter is nice and sweet. So I'm gonna go about 75% uh, cranberry to 25% apple butter. That's gonna give that great apple taste and also give the sweetness that we need. And what I'll do is I'll mix that up. If I want it to be a little more red, I'll just add a little more cranberry, but that looks just about perfect. And come on over here, we have our cheese. We're gonna be using that later. I've diced up an onion. And over here we have our simulated leftover turkey. I'm cheating here because it's actually before Thanksgiving. So over to the Blackstone griddle. Um, I'm on a 36 inch griddle here. This just happens to be on medium heat, but you need to figure out what you need to do on your griddle based on how many burners you have. That's olive oil and canola oil mixed. I can tell that's hot. That is hot enough to sear meat. And that's what we're doing here today. We want to get a nice little uh, bit of caramelization on the outside of our turkey breast slices. So here we go. Turkey breast straight down on the oiled griddle top. Well, just a little bit of salt. I like this bread a lot. It, it works really well for grilled cheese. It just tastes good. It's called the Rustic Oven. And it came out maybe a year, year and a half ago. Uh, you can buy it at most grocery stores. They have, I think, three different flavors, four. It just reminds me of uh, some of these store breads that I got growing up um, in these ethnic neighborhoods uh, in Pennsylvania. Look at that, just a beautiful looking bread. It's got that elongated shape. Look at that, gorgeous, gorgeous bread. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna butter our bread. I like to use country crock. That's my, uh, that is my bread buttering butter of choice. Um, you could use, you know, regular stick butter if you want to, but I'm all about saving time. Country Crock's real good. Doesn't have anything crazy in there, no crazy chemicals. And so uh, we use a lot of that. I've got a Granny Smith apple. I like Granny Smith for this recipe. Just gives a nice tart bite of an apple. So uh, we're gonna come over here, do some thin slices. I'm gonna leave the, um, the skin on there. If for nothing more, it'll provide a little bit extra texture. And also, since I'm going with that holiday theme, I just, you know, that green looks pretty to me. It, it says Thanksgiving, it says Christmas. There's our slices of Granny Smith apple. A Little bit of oil over here on this side of the griddle, followed by some diced or some minced onion. Put our bread down here. I'm gonna turn these burners down immediately, down to low. So we don't wanna burn these things here. Here's my cheese. I got two different kinds of cheese, kind of, uh, we're in the yellow white realm today. We got Gouda, regular Gouda, and we have uh, Swiss. Okay, so I'm gonna go down with a piece of each on the bottom of these, like so. And Kim, you're gonna to have to help me remember to put all my ingredients on. I have a habit of forgetting ingredients, folks. Um, and next we're gonna go with our turkey slices. You see that, looks gorgeous. Turkey like so, down there. Uh, let's see, next we have cheese, apple, and onion. So next we're gonna go down with the uh, apple slices. Just gonna put two on there. I don't wanna be, you know, I, I don't like uh, getting too crazy on sandwiches to where things are piled up so high that they're just falling out over the place. So I think uh, going with uh, two slices of apples, perfect. All right, let's go in for the onions, Kim, you got those? So here's our caramelized onions, our sauteed onions over here, cheese over here, two more on top, like so. 
and the final two pieces of bread. Okay, here we go. Bingo, can you see that? And here we go in for the second one. Oh yeah. So right now, everything is cooked. You just wanna make sure that cheese is melted. So I'm gonna grab some water over here, down here inside the hood. Close the if you don't have a hood, some people, if you have like the old school Blackstone griddles, uh, you know, this first generation, the second generation, you can just use a uh, basting cover. Same thing, basting cover. And if you don't have a basting cover, just use like some kind of a roaster pan or something, whatever it takes, you know, to, to trap that heat and generate steam inside uh, around your food. I hope everyone's having a good time this fall. I love fall. I was thinking the other night, that if I had to pick four months out of the year, right, they were my favorite. I think it's probably September through December because, you know, that encapsulates everything, right, from football to tailgating kind of food, hunting, I'm a hunter, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the, the leaves turning color, me not having to uh, worry about wearing shorts and t-shirts, all that stuff. So I like fall and hopefully you are enjoying fall as well. Come on there and check out that cheese skin. That looks absolutely perfect. go take a look at that and let's cut these in two look at that friends here's a little bullet I guess a bullet if you will of our cranberry apple sauce and I like to dust mine with a little powdered sugar kind of give it that Monte Cristo style look if you will there we go take a look at that sweet and savory. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna open up my sandwich. This is, oh my goodness, this has, I'm having flashbacks now. Remember Monte Cristo sandwiches? They were very popular back in the day. You don't see as much of them as you do now. Wow, right there, oh my goodness. Very, very good. You've got some leftover Thanksgiving turkey this year. Maybe you've got friends and families and, and families in town, family in town, families in town, both of them, and you want to impress them. I'm telling you what, this is so good. And that cranberry apple dipping sauce, that is where it is at. So until next time, everybody, this is Todd, my wife, Kim, behind the camera, wishing you a happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, praise the Lord, and pass the cranberry apple turkey grilled cheese. <laughs>